My name is Samuel Horatsuka, and I'm proud to be a 2023 Champion for Change. My name is Samuel Horatsuka. I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska, but I live out here in Washington, D.C. now. I'm uh, Yupik, Nungun, Winamon Wintu, and Navajo. My platform centers itself around civic engagement and really in ensuring that a lot of our indigenous youth are able to um, get a pathway into these institutions that have such a great bearing over our lives, uh, much more so than almost any other individuals in the United States for such an un un uh, unrepresented and underrepresented people. I have the great honor of working for the first Alaska Native representative in U.S. Congress, Representative Mary Sattler Peltola, and I handle all of her indigenous and rural affairs. I know I'm a pretty young guy, and so I, I feel like it's an incredible honor uh, being the first Alaska Native working on those Alaska Native issues for the first Alaska Native congressperson. Um, and I think that within that role, one thing that I try and do whenever I'm back home is I try and visit local schools, high schools in particular, and just share, hey, I'm a younger person too. I grew up back home. I was born and raised in Anchorage. This is my story. Here's my background in these areas. And I never thought that I'd have to be able to wear a collared shirt every day. I never thought that I'd be able to make these changes that I, I feel are so needed in the world for the benefit of all of our different communities, for Alaskans and Alaska Natives alike. And I also didn't feel like I had too much of an access into this world. I didn't know how to make my way through to it. I didn't know anybody who was involved directly in that work. And if it's possible for me to come back here 23 years old and be able to talk with you about it and share some of that experience and just say, hey, please use me as a resource. Please feel free to reach out to me with any of those issues that you have that are on a federal level. I want to keep in touch. I want to make myself accessible to you. That's a key component of my work, and I feel like a lot of youth, whether they're Alaska Native or not, really don't feel like they have that engagement. They don't have that pathway in, and I'd like to change that. I've heard people describe it as dog-eat-dog -dog kind of world, and I'd like to break that down because that's not how things are back home. Everybody has a, a common struggle, a common uh, a nexus because of the harsh climate and really how under-resourced some of our communities are that everybody pulls together inherently because we have to. And I'd like to bring some of that spirit, some of that congeniality, that natural congeniality out here and make sure that I take it with me all throughout my life. That's one of the things I truly, truly love about being an Alaskan is that there is that familiarity and that solidarity that we all have. And to bring that background to the, the question at hand, I'd like to make sure that anybody who has an interest or a passion area, even if I can't directly help that person, I might be able to pass it to somebody else I know who has such a great heart and is so driven in that particular issue area to say, here's a person to talk to. And let me try and facilitate that relationship for you so you can better yourself and also in turn better our communities. Because again, that's what we truly need. It's not just one person going to be able to carry everything on their back or on their shoulders. It's uplifting all of our boats through that rising tide. And so if I could play my role in that by giving five minutes of my time and saying, here's the pointers that I've got and here's the small bit of wisdom I've gained from my family and from my friends and the mentors I've been blessed to have in my life, it's incumbent upon me and to pass that along to future generations and anybody else really who's interested in these issue areas. There's such a critical need for it.